energy cycle look at this picture ecosystem energy exchange the energy cycle is based on the flow of energy through the ecosystem energy from sunlight is converted by plants themselves into growing new plant material which includes leaves flowers fruits branches trunks and roots of plants Look at this picture. Energy exchange in ecosystem. Sun, light, diffuse energy. Photosynthesis by plant. It produces consumers and decomposers here. During photosynthesis release oxygen high quality energy sugars from producers oxygen high quality energy for work for consumers biosynthesis movement membrane transport bioluminescence to respiration heat low quality energy water h2o carbon dioxide co2 h2o and co2 repeated cycle then photosynthesis sunlight like this so this is ecosystem energy exchange cycle since plants can grow by converting the sun's energy directly into their tissues they are known as producers in the ecosystem the plants are used by herbivorous animals as food which gives them energy a large part of this energy is used up for day to day functions of these animals such as breathing digesting food supporting growth of tissues maintaining blood flow and body temperature energy is also used for activities such as looking for food finding shelter breeding and bringing up young ones the carnivores in turn depends on herbivorous animals on which they feed thus different plant and animal species are linked to one another through food chains each food chain has three or four links however as each plant or animal can be linked to several other plants 
or animals through many different linkages this interlinked chain can be depicted as a complex food web this is thus called the web of life that shows that there are thousands of interrelationships in nature the energy in the ecosystem can be depicted in the form of food pyramid or energy pyramid the food pyramid has large base of plants called producers the pyramid has a narrow middle section that depicts the number of and biomass of herbivorous animals which are called first order consumers the apex depicts the small biomass of carnivorous animals called second order consumers man is one of the animals at the apex of the pyramid thus the support mankind there must be a large base of herbivorous animals and an even greater quantity of plant material when plants and animals die this material is returned to the soil after being broken down into simple substances by decomposers such as insects worms bacteria and fungi animals excrete waste products after digesting food which goes back to the soil this links the energy cycle to the nitrogen cycle thank you have a nice day